What is going on, Creative Warrior? I hope you're doing so, so well. I'm so excited today to be in. I am so freaking excited. I just realized this last night that like, so for those of you, replay, hashtag replay, um, so I know that you're watching. I realized last night that I, at the beginning of every single video, basically, say I'm so freaking excited. <laughs> What's up, John Shelton? Good to see you, dude. We're talking on Friday. I can't wait to see you, John. Talk with you. You're seeing me right now. Catherine, good to see you. Jean, good to see you. So guys, I'm really excited because today I'm going to be talking about the three different types of entrepreneurs and what's a creative warrior? Like, what's a creative warrior? That's such a fascinating conversation. So a lot of you guys know I just launched yesterday the Creative Warrior Collective, which is a six month. What's up, Mark? Good to see you, dude. What's up, Christine? So I just launched the Creative Warrior Collective yesterday. It's going to be launching on July 2nd. What's up, Kyle? Good to see you, man. And uh, yo, I love it, Mark. So guys, we'll go ahead, type in where are you coming in from? So I know that you're, I can, I know that you can hear me first and foremost, and then secondarily, um, so I know where some people are at. Where are we at today, guys? Where are we calling in from? I know some, some smart aleck is going to say, like, my house. What's up, Jana? Good to see ya. So guys, we're going to talk today about the three, the three different types of entrepreneurs and what the heck is a creative warrior? Because a lot of you guys, Mark is at the office. I love it. Kyle's in Duluth. Love it, Duluth. It's great. Wrapping up. Awesome, Mark. Good to hear, man. Wrapping up for the day. Alston, Texas. I love it, Christine. So guys, I just launched the Creative Warrior Collective, and we're going to be getting started July 2nd. And so to that end, what I'm doing all week is I want to like really educate the heck out of you guys on what a Creative Warrior is and really how we can best optimize being the entrepreneurial type that we are. And if you fall into the category of being a Creative Warrior, I want to help support you in doing that. And so the Creative Warrior Collective is a six-month container for driven solopreneurs, which I'll get into a little bit more about the type of the creative warrior and why those people are meant to do this work. What's up, Carson Cooper? Good to see you, dude. Super love it. So anyways, guys, there are three different types. Number one type of entrepreneur is the wrestler. Is the wrestler. And I'll tell you a little bit, a little bit about the wrestler, okay? So the wrestler, this is a type of entrepreneur who goes, I'm going to take it by force if necessary. What's up, Spring? Good to see you. The wrestler says, I'm going to take it by force if necessary. They're aggressive, they're strong, they're bold, right? They may, deep down, feel insecure. And so they feel like they have to push away the world with their hands at arm's distance, world at arm's distance, Spring! Hey! Love it. Brenda Becker! Oh, all my favorite people. I love this. So the wrestler pushes people away. And they strong arm people and they use their hands and they take massive action. Good example of this is Grant Cardone. I love it. Kyle just goes Grant Cardone type. Grant Cardone, Tony Robbins, right? Like these really you rah rah, like they're big, aggressive, like alpha male. Again, Nothing wrong with this. I want to really point out, guys, there is nothing wrong with this. In fact, some of you watching are potentially the wrestler. So the wrestler, again, they're aggressive, they're bold, they take decisive action, right? Really strong, like really strong leaders, right? That is the wrestler. That's type A. Amanda says, I'm in your house. You are in my house, love. Good to see you. I'll see you in probably... Th 10 minutes when I'm done with this. Type B, the second type, the second type here, type two, is the ninja. Is the ninja. The ninja. So you got the wrestler that's like, oh, I'm aggressive. I'm the, I got the bull. And you got the ninja. You got the ninja. So the ninja uses their head. This is the entrepreneur that is very focused on their brain. And they say, I'm going to take it by outwitting if necessary. If I have to outwit you or I have to use my brain, I'm calculated, I'm linear, I'm logical, I'm numbers oriented, I'm experimental. I do some A-B split testing maybe, right? They're, they build their uh, online businesses by being ninjas, right? Again, again, both of these are really cool. Like it's cool to be a wrestler. It's also pretty cool to be a ninja, right? 
And then, and so, so an example of that would be Tim Ferriss. If you know who Tim Ferriss is or Dave Asprey, those two guys, they're very, they're very cerebral, right? They're very of the brain, of the mind, right? All these new messages are coming in. This is very exciting. Love it. And then you have the third type. What's up, Melissa? Good to see you. I'm so freaking glad you're here. Sammy, good to see you. You have then type C or the third type, which is the creative warrior. So the wrestler, again, to recap, the wrestler, that is the type of entrepreneur. They keep the world at an arm's distance. They use their hands. They're bold. They're aggressive. They're strong, right? The ninja, they use their mind. The ninja is like, I am here in my mind. What's up, Deborah? Good to see you. They're in their head, right? And it's very calculated, linear, logical, numbers oriented. And then you have type C, which is the creative warrior. And they are heart and soul, right? A lot of people talk about as heart-centered entrepreneurs, right? But the thing is that, that they're also very smart. What's up, Shannon? Good to see you. They're also very smart, right? Creative warriors are not stupid by any means. They're not just like like just like hippies, right? Like they're, they're not just hippies. They're like really loving humans that really want to see the best for other people, right? So here's the healthy version, right? So the wrestlers like i'm going to take it by force if necessary the ninja says i'm going to take it by outwitting if necessary the creative warrior says the healthy version is like what's the win-win here do you hear that it's very different than the first two what's the win-win here the unhealthy version is you can have it like you can just have it right they tend to be warm, intuitive feeling, they're balanced of head and heart, um, which can get them stuck and unsure of which to listen to. That's the issue sometimes is that because they're, they're very dual, they're, they have, they're very mind and they're very body or uh, heart oriented that sometimes they get stuck in this like, Oh man, like I want this thing, but I also feel conflicted because of my mind, uh, shit, what do I do? And then they burn out and they crash is the issue. They get really stuck. So they need to upgrade by listening to and trusting their soul. It's the intersection of the head, the heart, and the hands. So we want to actually incorporate and transcend and include all three. We want to have the wrestler be a part of us. We want to have the ninja be a part of us. And we want to have the creative warrior be a part of us. So the unhealthy, so I'm going to give you guys a couple like little factors of what the unhealthy creative warrior can look like. Sometimes they're in relationship to themselves. The irony here is that they're typically externally focused. They typically are a little ADD, um, ADHD, distracted, unfocused. They have low trust for others and for themselves because usually they get burned. They've gotten burned many times right? They, uh, self care is something that's so vitally important. And again, maybe is a little off for the unhealthy creative warrior. Um, they can get bored by themselves. Like they just like the, the idea of themselves sometimes, again, this is not everyone, but in the unhealthy, very far spectrum of the unhealthy creative warriors that they can get really bored by themselves. They can feel like they're not enough. They can feel like they're too much potentially. And they can also potentially feel, um, yeah, like they're just not, they're not funny enough. They're not, they're not, um, they're not smart enough. They're not fast enough. They're not quick enough. They're not creative enough, right? Like they're not enough. Or sometimes they feel like they're too creative or they feel like they're too. And it's this really unbalanced thing that cr creates the unhealth, right? They can get frazzled and they can place their own needs last, which is a big issue. And they can also get like emotionally destabilized really easily. Um, and they just, yeah, they just feel really uncertain of themselves. And then here's where it gets even tougher guys is then in relationship to others, the creative warrior doesn't fully express themselves when they're with others. They may not have good boundaries. Can anyone like resonate with that? It's like, man, I could probably use some better boundaries, frankly. Can I get some loves? Can I get some hearts? Can I get some like, yes, amen to that? Um, they can tend to be like victim and, and maybe even blame others for their shortcomings sometimes. They can be overly apologetic. They can be um, comparison-itis, right? Like they compare incessantly. They're super supportive of others. Um, conflict may feel a little scary. What's up, John? Good to see you, man. Um, they may easily manipulate or be manipulated by others. 
right? They may even throw temper tantrums. Like, guys, this is the unhealthy version of the creative warrior. It's very possible to be in this place. Um, they put others and, uh, and responsibilities uh, on a pedestal. Lots of times, guys, the unhealthy creative warrior will also give to get. I hope that's like really landing for you. They will give something in order to get something rather than just give gifts, right? They'll give to get because they're so under-resourced. So the hope is like, man, if I give this thing, hopefully I'll receive something back in return. But again, they're not communicating it, right? And so these relationships with others just get really like mucky and myrtly and it's like, ugh, it's, it's very unclear, right? So they also will hide their true feelings and bottle them up inside. Just like we just said, they can be submissive. They can want pity, approval, sympathy from others. And then, and then it even extends to their craft, right? Like sometimes they chronically feel guilty and feel like they're not doing enough work. Like they should be doing more. Um, so, and a lot of times they've also tried and failed trying to be the wrestler or trying to be the ninja and hoping for someone to like save and rescue them. So that's a whole preamble, guys. But the point of this all being is that if you are a creative warrior, most, if, if not all, programs to try to actually teach you how to optimize that don't exist. Like there aren't truly uh, communities to actually make that, that thing which is very inherently real and you, like it's you, Make that actually come to life and actually make that a superpower. So that is what the Creative Warrior Collective about is about. Is literally about that because here's the thing, guys. You are heart-based by default. So you must leverage your superpowers, which is this. You ready? Here's your superpowers. Relationships. Your expertise. Making connections. Listening listening, and your ability to step into other shoes and problem solve, right? Can I like get some like, yeah, that's me, oh my gosh, right? Like you have these superpowers. And here's the thing, because so many of you were so hyper vigilant as children, right? Like, so we are externally focused. We're really good at sensing other people's needs. So again, your superpowers are relationships, your expertise, making connections, listening. You're probably a really good listener. And again, your ability to step into someone else's shoes and really say like, man, I can problem solve like a mofo, really stepping into someone else's shoes. So here's your prescription, guys. Here's the prescription. Number one is message me because I want you to be part of the Creative Warrior Collective. If that like hyper diaper resonates for you, like you are a Creative Warrior, I'm sorry. It's your lot in life. You're meant to be awesome. Uh, like you're meant to be like one of the coolest humans on the planet, right? And, and this is the thing though. The prescription is to find your value inside, internally. Not to find your value externally in others' opinions, in others' circumstances, in others' happiness. You're supposed to find that inside. And so the how, right? A lot of us are like, how do I do that? Let's have a conversation. Because that is, that's a much more long-term process. It's a process. It's a process. But as a creative warrior, you are fantastic. Fantastic at being able to go through processes to better yourself. So this is the next layer for you. If you are a creative warrior and you resonated at all with the unhealthy aspects of the creative warrior and even some of the healthy aspects, there is so much more on the other side. There's so much more. My entire business, I built a well over six figure business purely through relationships, purely through my expertise, through listening, through making connections, right? Like that is how I thrive and I freaking love it. I don't miss any part of trying to do it the other way before where I was people pleasing all over the place and not getting anything that I wanted in my life, right? I built something because of this gift of being a creative warrior. So with that said, guys, I am so excited to be here with you today to be able to share all this with you. So if you have any questions, shoot me a message or just comment below with your question. I will happily answer it after the live stream. And that's it for today, guys. I'm just super excited to be sharing this. Again, the Creative Warrior Collective, the community, the six-month salon that will be running to really actually up-level your ability to use your natural superpowers begins on July 2nd. So with that, sending you huge hugs.
Talk to you soon, y'all. Peace.